Okay. So, Audrey, thanks for you know giving us. Uh, this opportunity mm -hmm. and, the, and the, um, you know the time, the precious time for us to like film you and then have an interview. So um, about Megapore specifically, as we chatted, that can you describe that? What is your relationship to uh, Chintonic and then Freddie, mm -hmm. and how did the um, idea of the performance come about? Oh yeah, um, Freddie and I have been friends for almost twenty years now. Uh, twenty years ago, I was when running my third startup. Uh, and uh, Jia Liang Gao, who also appeared in some of the uh, Stonix uh, tracks, um, actually attended band practices and so on. Uh, and uh, Freddie has hung out with us a lot, and uh, I was teaching him Perl. Uh, and so <laughs> it's a programming language. So, um, yeah, we, we used to code, stay all night long up uh, without drinking caffeine, just listening to metal music. <laughs> and so, yeah, I've been uh, friends for, for quite a while. Yeah. Um, sorry, I was just thinking, mm -hmm. would you uh, prefer to us to wear masks? No, not at all. No, this is just for the show. Oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, I can do the same thing again without a mask. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, so maybe I'll just look into this cam or, or, or at yeah, Jenny. Yeah, okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, I was trying to look into the cam, and which may or may not be the, <laughs> the best thing to do. Okay, right, so so I'll just, just look naturally. Uh, okay, right. So, uh, so, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll just do the, the, the same question again. So, oh, right, okay. Would you, would you want that? Okay. Sure. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Yeah, so the, sorry, the story yeah, with, fine. with you and Freddie mm -hmm. and then the band. Yeah, um, Freddie and I have been uh, friends for almost 20 years now. Uh, 20 years ago, I was running my uh, startup. My co-founder, Zhao Liang Gao, actually appeared in one of the uh, Stonix uh, tracks. So we've been like coding all night long and staying up just by you know, not drinking coffee, but listening to metal music. Uh, and uh, Freddie also visited us. We hung out quite a bit. And I tried to teach Freddie uh, Perl. It's a programming language. So it uh, goes way back. Yeah. Wow, that's 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 fantastic, and mm -hmm. and I was wondering that. So, how did the idea of uh, mm -hmm. you performing at Megaport mm -hmm. uh, come about, and mm -hmm. how did it start, and mm -hmm. how 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 that idea has been developed mm -hmm. over the. Yeah, for me personally, uh, this started when a Japanese hip hop band, uh, Dos Monos, sampled my interview. And the interview was not specifically for the music band. It's just I relinquished the copyright for all my interviews under the Creative Commons attribution license. So Dos Monos uh, one day just emailed me saying that uh, they've successfully sampled my track into uh, their Dos Monos uh, hip hop song uh, called The Civil Rap uh, and uh, asked for my blessing because, you know, they they don't need my copyright permission, right? So, so just my blessing, <laughs> and 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 so uh, I think it's a, a a really good way of popularizing uh, our ideas to the audience that otherwise would not have heard uh, of our work. So it's really a um, kind of transcultural communication style thing. So uh, when Freddie asked me if I would uh, entertain the idea of attending Megaports at that time, not performing, uh, I was like, yeah, let, let's do a dos monos, right? Uh, let, let's just record some tracks of me and you can remix it however you want and just release the uh, result into the Creative Commons as well. And I think he's like, yeah, I'll have to check with my distributors. <laughs> but but turns out his distributor is fine with that. That's uh, great. Because uh -huh. I knew that his distributor is mm -hmm. Universal Music Group, right? Mm -hmm. They're usually not mm -hmm. very good to yeah, but, but you see in the Creative Commons, uh, yeah. they can actually choose the license. Yeah, so that, for example, uh, it's freely distributable, yeah. but not for commercial purposes. Mm -hmm. And if you run it in a commercial setting, uh, then you have to go back to the distributor for a commercial license. So in that sense, uh, it broadens the reach, but doesn't hurt uh, the cash flow, so to speak. So I think that's one of those arrangements that they end up agreeing with the distributor. Yeah. But my raw material is free of copyright. Yeah. Which the collaboration mm -hmm. is easier and probably mm -hmm. is more fun mm -hmm. without all those restrictions. I, I, I know, because uh, previously uh, people would not think of remixing images. Uh, like sound, sometimes it's remixed, uh, sampled, and so on. Uh, but for this time, uh, I just uh, sent to the Mu Chen Wu de Dian, right, one of the tracks. Uh, but the director asked me to uh, perform uh, various different emotions, so like 10 different interpretations of, of the same song. And then they used snippets of that reaction to that song uh, to pretty much all the songs. Uh, and it looked pretty well. Yeah. 
we, we were there, and then um, mm -hmm. yeah, we really loved it. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. <laughs> and mm -hmm. so, sorry, just to follow up questions mm -hmm. about that performance. Sure. So, um, um, how how do you feel about mm -hmm. that collaboration mm -hmm. in the end? Like, because because mm -hmm. we know that you um, the idea Doris just mentioned mm -hmm. to us mm -hmm. like you're hacking into that's right, that's right. Thing. Yeah, and I'm um, <coughs> physically uh, actually in the. Uh, uh, like light rail station uh, when, when that happened, right? So I'm like literally on the other side of the Taiwan Islands, uh, whereas Megaport is on the southern side. Uh, so I think it's quite symbolic as well that I get to, you know, attend my own performance, uh, but, you know, on the other end of Taiwan. So it really speaks to digital being a kind of borderless concept. Yeah. yeah. So have you been to Megaport physically or no. how do you... Oh, Never. So <laughs> no, <not yet. laughs> how, how, how did you um, feel or know mm -hmm. about the their, their mm -hmm. brand and also mm -hmm. they as a mega well I, I, I've known Freddy for, for quite a while yeah. so of course I, I knew uh, the, when, when he started putting together the, the Megapore Festival mm -hmm. um, on the other hand though uh, because I don't endure loud music very well <laughs> so, I like overly sensitive to, to sound <laughs> so it, it's kind of not my scene <laughs> and, but um, you know listening from the other end of the island uh, I'm totally at control I can kind of mute dial it down like way down <laughs> uh, and, and so I actually did hear the, the feedback and so on from the audience uh, but in a manageable volume that I can manage myself so that's the best of both worlds <laughs> yeah. but you listen to Freddie's music way mm -hmm. back past so that's right but at a distance really good. At a, yeah, distance. at a distance. Right, so, so it's more about the rhythm. Right, Jiang Yang was playing at full speed, but I, I was living, you know, uh, some distance from, from him. Yes. So when he plays at full uh, volume, then in my uh, room, it's more like manageable noise. Yeah. Yeah. So it's great to have a that signal, distance sorry. from... Music, <laughs> not noise. <laughs> from Danshui uh -huh. to, to Kaohsiung, uh -huh. that's the uh -huh. perfect distance. That, that's perfect that's distance, really that's right. Like uh, over a digital transmission. Yeah. yeah. That sounds great, thank you. And um, so... Speaking of that, that um, mm. what what I think we, we pretty much have already thought it at that spot mm. in terms of the whole concept, your mm. presence there, and then that's like visually, image wise, mm. sound wise, mm -hmm. great, and mm. then and then um, Doris was telling us that they were trying to experiment with it, uh, electronic music that's a right. more. So I yeah. think it's a combination of everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there any like specific message that you think that you wanted to kind mm -hmm. of communicate um, mm -hmm. to? Regardless of the audience or that. Yeah, I think it's forms. just a freedom to remix, right? The um, kind of lack of the uh, authority control on my likeness, on my image, on my voice, and so on, uh, is a message of freedom. Uh, the freedom to, to remix, basically. And, and that's the freedom that we kind of taken for granted now in Taiwan. But in other jurisdictions, that's actually not a given. Well, even having a Megapore Festival is not a given, right? In Taiwan, last year, we've had uh, the physical pride parade and so on, uh, which we very much cherish uh, for the very um, ability to, to run such large gatherings. And that's another message, the freedom of assembly uh, physically. Yeah. So following up on that, that I would also like to ask you about, especially like, because the world, the rest of the world, a lot of mm -hmm. them, and us, of course, as well, still mm -hmm. under the impact of the mm -hmm. pandemic. Yeah, the 2020 have not gone, right? Yeah. It's still there. 2020 is still there. <laughs> still yeah. here. So, yeah. so do you think that yeah. uh, your performance also, uh, is there any message mm -hmm. in terms of the, uh, the virus and Taiwan's position mm -hmm. um, in the global community mm -hmm. now? Mm -hmm. Is there anything that's also... Mm -hmm. mm, communicated yeah I, I think Freddie did uh, send that message right and when he was speaking to the audience there's a segment where he spoke in English uh, and the main message is just about that uh, we're in this together uh, and uh, Taiwan can help let Taiwan help basically that's the main message yeah, yeah. Yeah. and sorry following up on that okay so it has been over the years since you introduced the world, your fun, fast, and fair approach to That's Taiwan's right. success mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. countering the pandemic with digital innovation, mm -hmm. which is also, I think, something that is uh, mentioned mm -hmm. in, the, in the performance, uh, hinted. hinted. So mm -hmm. have you adapted or developed this approach in any way since 
Mm -hmm. uh, definitely. So, yeah, I talk about pink musk when, when talking about fast fair and fun, right? But rainbow musk, of course, is <laughs> a later development, right? And, and I think uh, Freddie and Doris did their own musk interpretation, right? Uh, so I think this whole musk as fashion item play has really developed into a sort of art uh, so that people wear it all day long, even when the temperature is actually quite high nowadays. But still people attending an event uh, really like to, to wear it throughout the day uh, because they understand that this symbolizes the event itself uh, is an expression uh, of freedom, not an expression of duty. Uh, this doesn't look like duty, right? <laughs> so, so I think this whole Moscow's fashion thing uh, symbolizes the, the social of society participation way uh, that we realize the counter-pandemic norms. Yes. Thank you. And um, sorry, a little bit more maybe about uh, previously the uh, performance part because Megaport obviously this year that it got sold out in like three minutes. And yeah, I know that you were the. That's right. You're actually the only lineup yeah. that has been announced. I know, I know. It's not even a line. line. It's a dot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so not not lineup. Dot. Right. <laughs> right. Uh -huh. So um, uh -huh. yeah. So as a uh, we were sort of also um, speaking uh -huh. to. Um, Stories about this yesterday. Mm -hmm. That as because um, both yourself and Freddie are standing politicians. Mm -hmm. Sure. It's not. Mm -hmm. It's not. Uh, it's not completely unheard of that mm -hmm. a, a politician that is involved in musical sure. uh, activities. We've like got Jeremy. professional singers yes. elected as legislators. Yeah. 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 And also, mm -hmm. I think in other countries, maybe like mm -hmm. Jeremy Corbyn, sure. Glastonbury. Yeah. So it's not uncommon. But also, mm -hmm. I think uh, to have this collaboration, it's it's quite interesting mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. in Taiwan and sure. in terms of this like combination between uh, politics and then also um, civil society and mm -hmm. then also music performances is there anything that you mm -hmm. you uh, find quite special mm -hmm. about uh, this performance in Megaport? Yeah I, I think Freddie uh, basically mm, is a kind of uh, I refer to myself as a poetician uh, meaning that Poetry is my main line of work, uh, and I do politics simply because I see it as one of the ways uh, that those common values could be communicated. So seeing politics as a way of communication. Uh, and Freddie did that as well, right? Uh, even after he became the legislator, he made new songs uh, and doing essentially civics education, right? Uh, turning what he has encountered in the legislature uh, into metal music so that people who are uh, previously not so interested uh, in their civics class, uh, start to pay attention uh, to the democratic process and so on uh, just by listening to the music. So uh, I think this is very interesting in that this is not like our hobby. Uh, this is us continuing our line of work, be it in the cabinet here uh, or for him in the legislature or on the stage. Uh, it's the same line of work. Uh, this continuation, I think it's one of the most interesting things about this collaboration. Thank you. That's great. And um, this might be actually one last question from my end, which is just connecting to yesterday, because mm -hmm. Doris is telling us about the idea of a little robot. Oh, yeah. Can I ask that mm -hmm. why it wasn't uh, eventually move on to mm -hmm. the hacking and mm -hmm. the stage of like sure. larger screen? Like yeah, yeah like blanking out. Yeah. yeah. How, how, how did it? Um, well, the, 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 the little robot thing uh, is what we call lao geng, right? It's an it's a old trope. <laughs> right? It was fun, I mean, back in 2017-18, you know, when the telepresence robots showing my likeness was in the UN Geneva uh, headquarters, and I attended UN on the record uh, using such a moving robot. Uh, people find it pioneering. Uh, it's fun. Uh, on the other hand, the UN General Assembly last year was all telepresence anyway, right? So, uh, people have moved, moved on. Uh, before the pandemic, having a roving robot uh, sounds um, exotic. But nowadays, you know, telepresence and moving robot, that's just everyday life, especially for people under lockdown. That's really the only way they can inspect uh, a factory, a business center, or, or pretty much anywhere, right? So telepresence is, it's not that rock anymore, right? So, so we move on. Yeah, move on to come up with something that is... Yeah, yeah that, that, that's more, more interesting. Uh, and uh, I think because for, for them, uh, their audience, uh, their fans, usually throw the, the helmet 
money right, uh, in, into the air uh, as they perform, uh, as a way to honor the ancestral spirits uh, that was commemorated in their lyrics uh, and so on. So I think it's a really touching uh, gesture. Uh, on the other hand, uh, on the kind of popular meme uh, of me, of Audrey Tang, uh, there's uh, always you know, the wearing of the tinfoil hat, uh, the wearing of aluminum uh, foil that uh, actually amplifies um, electromagnetic waves and so on. So combining these two things together, because in the health money uh, print, uh, there's a paper layer, but there's also a foil layer, right? So uh, it's kind of a deliberately amplified meme uh, that uh, throwing health money actually summons Audrey and, and Audrey's brainwaves and so on. <laughs> so so it, it's a new combination uh, and it's a new meme. Uh, and so it, it sounds fun. Uh, and so this digital health money, a lot of yellow squares uh, end up being pasted uh, on the digital forum when I hacked into Megaport. Uh, people started to throw health money, but digitally, right? So that's also a new combination. Yeah. <laughs> digitally, that's right. Digitally, right? Digitally uh, honoring our ancestors. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you saw those like paper. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. And Doris um, mentioned this this meme, and mm -hmm. um, so this, you know, as, as a, a foreigner, this is the first time I've heard mm -hmm. of it, and the. Um, she she mentioned you were, you guys were playing with something that was formerly tried to be used as, as an accusation against you, um, and playing with the idea of it. Could you perhaps because mm. this film is for a, a, sure. a foreign audience? Sure, could you set the scene of that? Sure. So um, <clears throat> it all started uh, in 2016, even before I become digital minister, there was a popular rumor uh, that uh, Audrey will control people's mobile phones using GPS uh, waves, using GPS signals, uh, so that people who protest against the government should turn off the GPS, uh, lest they get tracked and infiltrated uh, by Audrey. And I was not even the digital minister. <laughs> and so, um, and, and I, I did this uh, humor over rumor thing, uh, which is basically making fun of myself, uh, saying that, uh, of course, uh, I don't track people over the GPS, but, but if you wear aluminum foil, uh, like tinfoil hat, uh, as sometimes instructed uh, by the people um, uh, telling each other to turn off GPS, uh, there's a MIT study that actually says it the uh, tinfoil hat amplifies electromagnetic waves, specifically in the bands that communicate 3G, uh, 4G um, telecommunication. Uh, and so the, the idea of shielding uh, from the extraterrestrial or whatever brainwaves actually makes it easier uh, to, to amplify. Uh, and so the term amplify or zengfu uh, became kind of synonym uh, of, me, of my name. Uh, and I then proceed to translate, uh, for example, on the um, French uh, counter disinformation website, which I contributed a Mandarin translation, I just translated empowerment uh, into zengfu, into uh, amplification. And so uh, it becoming a, a empowering message, uh, like literally amplifying the power of the people. Uh, and so the, the tinfoil became not a symbol of conspiracy theory, but of self empowerment uh, through like a series of, um, for lack of better term, cultural gems. <laughs> and, so, and, and it has um, reached a kind of completeness um, by 2019 or so, uh, 2020 or so, uh, so that by 2020, when people think about me and Team Foil Hat and whatever, people think about Zengfu, about uh, empowerment, even about a, a short snippet of music, right? <laughs> right? So, <laughs> so amplified by you, right? Uh, and, and so um, I think uh, Freddie was just uh, building upon that existing mimetic uh, connection and adding another kind of uh, um, commemorating the ancestor spirit layer on top of uh, what's already a kind of urban folklore thing. Yeah. Right. Is there is there mm -hmm. any remix of mm -hmm. your with Zheng Fu? I think that would mm -hmm. be a good. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, 我来我见我征服, right? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have to make something. Yeah, that's right. Like that's right. Like yeah, of course. Create new work. Yes. It's go true. ahead and remix. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's the freedom of Taiwan. Yeah, it's the freedom of Taiwan. <laughs> that's great. Um, so uh -huh. I think I'm done with my part. So I'll hey. leave it to the director sure, sure, of to see okay. if she wants anything. Yeah, I, re mm -hmm. I realize we That's referenced okay. in the questions and um, the fun, fast, and uh, mm -hmm. um, sure. approach in preventing the virus, mm -hmm. but then we actually haven't set the scene for a foreign audience. Mm -hmm. 
So perhaps you mm -hmm. could summarize sure. that approach? Sure, okay, Thank sure. You. So by fast, fair, and fun, we mean that when we counter the pandemic with no lockdown and counter the infodemic with no takedown, we rely on a collective intelligence so that anyone who see any new development can pick up the phone and call this toll-free number 1922 to be part of the collective intelligence, not only get the counter-pandemic measures explained to them, but actually report uh, new things and co-develop new measures. Uh, there's people calling saying, hey, I invented a way to use traditional rice cookers with a adding water, uh, put your mask on it, it kills the virus, doesn't kill the mask, <laughs> and then it turned into the daily 2 p.m. broadcast message where the Minister of Health actually demonstrate uh, mask cooking, uh, or a young boy uh, called last April saying, hey, you're rationing on masks, but all I get is pink ones, but all the boys on my class have navy blue masks, uh, so I don't want to wear pink to school. And then the very next day on 2 p.m., uh, Minister Chen, as well as all the health offices, wore this pink mask, uh, and Minister Chen even said a pink Panther was a childhood hero. So the boy become the most hit boy in the class for he own, uh, only has pink, but pink is the color of hero and hero's heroes. Uh, and for a couple of weeks, I think all the leading brands on the digital platforms colored their avatars pink. And, and that uh, makes sure that by last uh, May, uh, Taiwan largely move on to post pandemic because three quarters or more of people start to wear a mask and wash their hands, not uh, out of obligation, but out of pride. Uh, uh, like uh, sometime out of pride, literally. Uh, and so that's fast and fair. Uh, and the fairness also pertains uh, to the mass distribution uh, in the very beginning, like uh, last. January uh, 31st, we already understood this importance of three quarters of people having access to masks. But at the time, uh, in a country of 23 million people, we only produce 2 million or so a day. Uh, and so we need to implement some sort of rationing. Um, and so within just three days, all the 6,000 pharmacies uh, started offering their real-time availability of the mask in stock. So people do not have to queue in vain. They can actually co-create a, a more even and fair distribution uh, mechanism with equity and people develop more than 100 different tools to help locating the mask availability using chatbots, maps, and so on. And finally, the, the fun part. Um, so in addition to the daily press conference, there's a very cute Shiba Inu, the name Song Chai, uh, a dog that lives with the participation officer, uh, a dedicated team of communicators within the Ministry of Health and Welfare. So every time the CECC, the Minister Chen, uh, rolls out a new measure, for example, physical distancing, uh, then a very funny meme is rolled out uh, within hours uh, that says, for example, when you're indoor, keep three shibas away from one another or wear a mask. When you're outdoor, keep two shibas away or wear a mask. It's very, very funny. Uh, and a very cute dog uh, putting their uh, foot to their mouth uh, and with a meme uh, that says, uh, 禁止下到起手手, which uh, translates as, you know, it's it's forbidden to to put your foot in your mouth uh, because, you know, the mask protects your uh, mouth against your unwashed hands. Again, very easy to remember and links hand sanitation with mask use because it's only useful if you do both, right? Uh, but it doesn't really offend anyone. It uh, communicates across cultures and languages and jurisdictions. Uh, so people just remix that. So the power of memes and the power of remixing allows us to counter the disinformation that was rampant during the pandemic in all jurisdictions without resorting to censorship or takedowns and so on. So we see democracy as a strength, not as a weakness. Uh, democracy allows people to remix and contribute to ways to increase the R value, the basic reproduction rates of science and clarifications so that conspiracy theorists get inoculated. Yeah. Great. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's great. I think I think I'm happy. Rob, do you have any uh, contributing questions? Yeah. I, I think everything was good. Yeah. Hey. Thank you so much oh. for this. Yeah. Um, oh. oh. Is there any like obvious other shots that you would like? Um, we we were wondering. Uh, we accept that we uh, might not be able to film in, in certain areas, but is there any chance just to introduce the setting that we could film you walking? through the hallway and sure, the of course. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Oh, that's great. Sure. How about walking uh, outside the building? In? Sure, of oh, course. Okay, yeah. great. Nice. Uh -huh. um, that's fantastic. Well, we'll just move uh -huh. to handheld. Okay. Um,